coming to this session. One of my most uh, favorite topics to talk about, which today, of course, is VDI versus Terminal Server, or VTS, the new, the new cool way. So, in this conversation, I, this is the, the second time I gave this presentation. I gave it originally at VMworld in Las Vegas last September. So how many people of you saw that presentation? Okay, good, not too many. The reason I, I ask is because, you know, not really too much has changed in the, the world of VDI and Terminal Server since then, so it's basically the same content. You know, I gave this presentation also two days ago. How many people saw that presentation two days ago? So I have really bad news for you, too, about how much stuff changed. But um, it's, it's good. We, we have the videotape, by the way, of the first presentation. So um, we'll, we'll put that on, on the website. So if any of your coworkers haven't seen it, uh, we can do that. But I guess the, the obligatory slide that magically appears, you know, VMware requires the presenters to submit their slides ahead of time. And as soon as we get up here on stage, there's suddenly this new slide added which actually is kind of cool. No one reads this fine print, but basically I, I think this means that I can say whatever I want and, and, and I'm not responsible for it. <laughs> so I can say that you know, the best new way to deal with users is to throw soft fruit at them until they stop trying to answer their applications. Um, you know, take, take notes. I'm, I, that's fully, fully uh, an okay solution. So, so yeah, VDI versus terminal server. I love this kind of head-to-head, -head, like, ring, ring. in this corner, we have, stepping up here, 319 pounds, taking on the world champion VDI. And what's our VDI look like? It's a young guy, and it's really kind of echo generation, and uh, yeah, this is the way to do it, it's virtual, everything. And then all through here, in this corner, very, very old, <laughs> very reliable, not exciting at all, we have... Terminal Server. <laughs> Here we are, Mr. VDI, Mr. Terminal Server. This right here was actually uh, from a presentation I gave at another event uh, with the guy. Uh, that's uh, Dr. Bernard Trisch, uh, German uh, Terminal Server consultant. I don't know if any of you know. He goes by Benny. Um, great guy. So Benny and I were having this conversation. Uh, Benny is. Uh, uh, a little, a little older uh, than I. Uh, no, I'm sorry. He's a little bit more experienced um, than I. A bit, a bit more worldly, worldly, and and he he's talking about the terminal server. You know, we have to deliver these desktops and applications for our users, and terminal server is really the way to do it. And I said, man, I don't know. There's some interesting aspects of VDI that I think we really need to consider. We kind of started talking. And it was funny because. Here I am, I've got my Pimp My Storage shirts, and I've got the hair up and holes in my ears, and my shorts and flip-flops, and this is what I wear even in the winter time. And, and uh, I'm saying this VDI thing is, is really the way to go. And Benny says, I'm not sure a terminal server really, I think, is better. Incidentally, right now, how many of you are working with terminal server and support terminal server in your environments? And how many are using VDI in production in your environments right now? That's cool that we got a couple. How many are considering VDI? And um, how many, how many are, are getting the pressure from the boss and the users and the vendors and all parties involved trying to figure out which one you should go with in your environment? And how many people are just here because you heard I passed out candy bars the last session I did? <laughs> <laughs> got bad news for you too. <laughs> So yeah, so it's so VDI versus terminal server. I mean, it's so interesting. I mean, in the context that IT can be interesting, but but terminal server, you know, we've got the people like Bendy that say, you know, terminal server is the proper way to do this. We have been doing terminal server forever. It's just like a mainframe, even they say, which is some kind of um, like room-based computer. I'm not really sure. So they say. A VDI is just a stupid fad. The only reason VDI is important is because it starts with the letter V. Terminal server is proven. Terminal server is very cost effective. Terminal server is very reliable. And really, terminal server based solutions have been in place for 10 years. If I can turn that without damaging things. No is the answer. Okay. So terminal server 
I mean, this is, if you're serious, if you want to run a production-stable environment, terminal server is the way to do it. And the conversation at that point should stop, this is the correct way. But the VDI hipsters, these younger people, they say, no, no, no. Man, it's 2009. Don't you understand? VDI is the way to go. VDI is virtual. It's virtual. <laughs> Where are we right now, right? How old school is terminal server? VDI is about virtual desktops. If I want to deal with a desktop in 2009, of course, it's going to be virtual. Because we don't live in those older days. Plus, we say about VDI, VDI has all these great advantages. Did you attend any of the VMware View VDI sessions at, at this event? They talk about these great advantages, right? Like management. All my desktops are in the data center. All my hard disks are in the data center. Everything's in the data center. It's much easier for me to manage these users if I'm managing instances in the data center instead of users all over the place. A great advantage of VDI is access. Because my desktop's in the data center, my users can use them from any device, even non-Windows devices. My users can access them from outside the firewall, the hotel, the home, the grandparents' house, no matter where they are, they can access their desktops. Plus, VDI has an interesting performance story, right? Because our desktop applications are running in the data center, perhaps in the same data center with the gigabit Ethernet connection to the databases and the backend systems. So great, great performance because my applications and backend systems are running in the same place. And even over a very slow connection, I can still have very fast applications. And of course, the last advantage I have of VDI is the security and compliance. It's, we call it eyes-only security because the data never leaves the data center, right? Only sort of photographs, snapshots of the data leave. So we have management, access, performance, security. These are the advantages of the VDI, yeah? Management, access, performance, security. How is that? Where have I seen something that gives me the advantages of management, access, performance, and security? Anyone recognize this? <laughs> I, this is a slide that I took from a Citrix presentation from 1997, where they talk about the benefits. So you can see the, the burn-in on the back, back here, right? It's been there so long. The, the <laughs> advantages of WinFrame are management, because my WinFrame servers are in my data center. I'm managing everything in the data center. I've got this great ability to access everything from outside my firewall. I've got the high performance of my applications, which are running in my data center and I have the security of all my data never leaving the data center. Management, access, performance, and security are great advantages of Citrix WinFrame and Citrix MetaFrame and Citrix Presentation Server and Citrix Zen App. All these terminal server solutions. So you think, wait a second. Why is it that it seems to me these advantages of VDI and these advantages of the terminal server, it's the same advantages? Is that strange? Well, not really, because VDI and Terminal Server are both server-based computing. And what we're describing are not the advantages of Terminal Server, are not the advantages of VDI. What we're describing is the advantages of server-based computing. Anytime you take that remote application, your desktop, and put it in a data center, and connect to it via a remote display protocol from some kind of device that doesn't have too much state on it, whether it's a thin client or whether it's a laptop running client connection virtual, uh, virtual um, protocol software. We have these server-based computing advantages that are the management, the access, the performance, and the security. So server-based computing is great. How many people are using server-based computing today? Every terminal server hand and every BDI hand, right? How many people are using server-based computing for every single application in your environment today? Every single desktop, every single user? What? Uh, are your hands broken? How many people are using it for everything right now? Why the hell not? Why not? I'm asking you. Look at these advantages. Why are you not using it?